Hello, I'm Sharon Aguilar and I blog at www.sweetmamalife.com and I just wanted to jump on here and show you how I do the nursing option on the power sports bra pattern. So the pattern is by Green Style Creations and um, I've been nursing for a few years and I've enjoyed wearing this bra um, ever since it's released. It's been a great pattern for, um, for nursing as well as for just activity. I have several that are the non-nursing um, part as well. But um, I'm coming to the end of my nursing journey and this might be my last time um, to make a nursing bra for myself. So I thought I, it would be a good time to show you how I do it. So um, the only additional supplies you'll need um, than what is called for in the pattern will be the nursing clips, either 3 8 inch, 5 8 inch, or half of an inch. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Thank you for joining me and let me know if you have any questions. So when choosing your clips, you can get anywhere from 3 8 inch to half inch to 5 8 inch even probably up to three quarters. And what you're gonna do on the bra isn't much different. Um, you'll just need to take a greater seam allowance whenever you're doing um, the clasp, the part that attaches to the front of the bra. So I'm gonna start with you on this step after you have sewn your mane and your lining. So at this step, you should have already sewn your princess seams. So there's the three front pieces and then sewn them to the back. This is my lining. And then here is my main fabric and I've sewn that part as well. So at this point, I am going to sew the part that attaches to your front. Um, so I'm gonna grab that pattern piece. It looks like, looks like this. It says optional adjustable front strap. So on this front strap, if you're using the 3 8 inch, then you only need to cut two of them. So is what you would do is you would take one of these and fold it in half this way, sew it there, and turn it right side out. But if you're using either the half inch or the 5 eighths inch, you'll need to cut four of these, put them right sides together, sew it on the edge. You'll use a 3 eighths inch seam allowance if you're using the half inch. Um, if you're using the 5 eighths inch, you'll just be using a quarter inch seam allowance on these sides. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it both ways just so that you can see the difference. Um, and then after we've sewn this part we're going to attach it to our front i have um i went ahead and did two for this one um and you would need to do two of these um as well if you do it but this is what it looks like on the 3 8 inch i prefer the 3 8 inch just because um i don't feel it like when i'm running there's less like to what is the word chafe against my skin on the smaller one but if it's like a lounge bra i, I don't care which size that i get um, I don't know, you know, if there's more support in the, in the bigger size on the clips. So anyways, you're going to turn them right sides out. And I used a, a quarter inch seam allowance. I just did my serger on the side of that one. And, and then this is what this looks like. So you're going to grab your clip and you'll have, this one comes in black or white. I think I got these at Joanne. I've also seen them at Wawak. Okay, so... So you're going to grab this part and you're going to feed this through here. And you're going to do that for both of them. So it looks like this and then you're just going to lay it on to the top of the bra like this. And you don't want it, you're not really lining, lining the edges up because then it's going to have a lot of fabric parts sticking out. I actually line it up. So you're gonna to wanna to kinda of look at where your seam allowance is gonna be. It's gonna be at 3 eighths of an inch. And then see how much you want sticking out. You want enough sticking out that your needle's not gonna hit this when you sew over it, but not like a ton sticking out um, on this. So I usually have a little bit of extra that I cut off. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip this down here and then I'll do the other side. And it's this piece. So you'll see there should be four pieces for one bra and the piece that you're putting um, up next to the front on the connector piece is this one, not the one with the hook. It looks like that and both sides are the same. So just put whatever side you want to be facing out on this and you're gonna set it like this. Um, now, if you're using the one half or the um, five eighths, then you're gonna wanna use this bigger piece. So you're gonna have a bigger connecting piece and you're doing the same thing. So you're putting it through this part of the clip.
If you have a lot of like extra, like it's in here like this, then just take a bigger seam allowance. But either way, so you are folding it like this and then laying it down right sides together. So um, the only thing that's changing is this um, this piece right here, that you, the fabric you're using to connect it for the strap um, based on the size of this right here. Okay, so I'm gonna clip this on to my main and I'm going to just sew, I'll use my sewing machine and then just sew right over this. And when I'm sewing over it, I don't real, I don't start on the edge. I start in the middle of the piece. I put my needle down in the middle and then I go back and forward. You're just kind of basting it there. And it's harder since it's kind of a thick strap right here. Um, it's harder if you start on the edge of it, your sewing machine is going to kind of struggle over that big hump. But if you start in the middle, you can kind of go back and forth on it like that. Okay, so this is the point that I'm at. I have attached this part and you see um, since I didn't use the wider one that there's extra um, on the sides right here so it means that whenever I come along these edges that I'm going to need to um, take a wider seam allowance as I approach this to kind of um, make sure that there's not all this like gap besides it beside it you're not going to need to do that if you used um, the wider one and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and trim off the excess you see how much excess that I had on this one and on this one, I try to make sure they're even. Um, so I'm just gonna trim that off. And then now is the time where we're gonna attach our main to our lining. And when I sewed this on there, just to recap on that, I um, used a straight stitch. I just kind of went back and forth several times. Um, I'm, if you're really just kind of basting it there for right now. Okay, so take your lining and you're gonna put your main and your lining right sides together. And we're going to sew all around the upper edges. So you're gonna put it right side together so that that is sandwiched in between these. And we're gonna sew this. And then remember when you get to this, when you're sewing, to angle your angle your seam in. I don't do that part with my serger just because um, it's hard to guess how much to take here. It's easier to kind of eyeball it with my sewing machine than it is my serger. But then I do the rest, all of this part with my serger. So I wanna show you where I'm at now. I just did the point right here on my sewing machine to go over um, this connector piece. I'll show you what it looks like whenever it's right side out. So it looks like that. Um, and as what I'm gonna do is I'm going to clip these corners. So you're gonna to wanna to go and clip all of these corners and then I can go with my serger and do the rest. If you don't have a serger, that's fine. You can finish the rest um, with your regular machine. I just wanted to show you clipping the corners. And then here is what it'll look like from the front. And then, of course, this is a 3 8 inch, and you can have it as wide as 5 8 inch. Okay, so I'm going to go around the rest of the bra. Okay, so now we're at the point where we can mess with our straps. If you're following the regular pattern, you would have attached them here earlier on. But since we're doing the nursing pattern, the first time we attach them is once all of this is sewn. Um, and that's the same way on if you're doing the um, the U back. On the U back, you would attach them at the top of the U at this step and you would attach all of them. But on the strappy back, you're just going to pick the two shortest straps and you're going to lay them right sides facing down and they're going to be crossed right here. I like to um, place these closer to the edge of where I left off so I'll look at there would have been two mark two markings right here of where to place them and you're going to put them in between that just make sure that it's even even meaning um, how close you have them between these markings. So I'll get those and I'm going, and when you do it, it's gonna be at an angle. So there's actually gonna be just like a little bit, um, let me get it closer so you can see. Put a pin in one. So there is like a triangle that's gonna be sticking out like this so that it is gonna cross 
you don't want it you don't want it to be even because then they would just go straight um, unless you're making them to go straight but if you want them to cross then you're gonna want to do them at a 30 degree angle and then we're just going to sew them on first I'll baste them on my sewing machine and then I'll go back and I'll serge this and then I can put my clear elastic clear elastic around the entire all these edges and I um, also don't skip the clear elastic you're going to need that for a nursing bra after we put the clear elastic in then we can turn the bra right side out okay so I have closed off the back and closing just two of my straps I've went through um, over my serger seams and just by a zigzag stitch I added on my clear elastic and then now I'm going to turn everything right sides together Okay, so this is what your bra should look like right now. And you have these two straps like this. And now we're gonna attach our longer straps. So you're gonna take those and on when, while it's right side out, you're gonna find where you marked the markings for those. And on these, you're gonna put the seam side facing down. And then you're just gonna apply them along there. Okay, so now we're at the point where we're just going to stitch this down at the bottom. So just sew across there. And before you do, kind of like lay it out and make sure that you get the right angle on these so that they're separated the right amount. So you see how you can kind of move this around and change the position. Um, so do that to make sure that you have kind of like a little triangle sticking out at the bottom so that they are crossing. Okay, so this is the part where you're going to put in any cups that you would like to. So um, I've attached my, just to show you, all my straps are attached only at the back and I'm putting in my cups. And then now we're gonna put in our bottom band. So I'm doing one that is just the soft elastic, the Dritt soft elastic. So I'm going to um, sew it like this and then top stitch it down. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that and then we'll be ready to do the nursing clip part. So I am going to put on my bottom band. I sewed it right sides together. And then after I sewed it right sides together, I just top stitched down um, the seam. And I did this just because I like to put this softer edge against me. So um, I'm gonna put it right sides together, the, the side that I want facing out. So it'll be this way. And then I'm gonna quarter it and mark it and just attach it to my bottom band. Um, when you're attaching it, you're gonna just make sure that your serger knife does not trim or cut any of this elastic if you're using soft elastic um, because if it does um, it'll unravel the band over time okay so once i've attached this i'll come back and i'll show you how to do the nursing nursing portion so now that i've attached my bands right side together i'm just going to push it out like this and i'm going to save top stitching it um, until after i've put in the anchors to anchor my nursing strap um, and then I'll top stitch it whenever I do those. Okay, so for now, we are going to be bringing our straps around. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it towards the back and overlap these. So you're gonna wanna crisscross them the way that you want them to look whenever they're finished. So I have them crisscrossed and then I'm going to grab my this clip and you are going to be putting these through here which if you're using the bigger clip it's easier and the smaller one you're going to do it a little bit differently than you would do the bigger one i'm going to give you some examples of ones i've done in the past that have the bigger nursing clips like on this one it's really easy you can just attach them side by side like this here's another example See, I just hooked both on there, turned it under, just zigzagged a lot, and then that's what that looks like. Here's another one.
So you can either, like sometimes I'll shove the raw seam inside before I zigzag and sometimes I'll just do it and then cut off the extra. Um, but I do it a little bit differently whenever I'm doing the smaller clips. So on those, you're going to want to pick one that you're gonna shorten. So like for example, I'm gonna shorten this one and I'm only gonna put one through here. First I gotta clip it on there, otherwise I always get confused as to. And then I'm gonna do the inner one in there so it goes this way. So the fun thing about doing the nursing bra, and this is the part I'm actually gonna really miss whenever I don't make them nursing style anymore, is that you adjust your straps. It's so easy to adjust your straps because you're not adjusting them from the back. You're adjusting them from right here. So you can try your bra on and you can adjust it while it's in there. So is what I'll do is I'll put this one through and then this one, I actually will just like attach it in here and then cut off. So if I don't cut any off, like for some reason the straps fit you perfectly and you don't ever adjust, then I, I sandwich one strap inside of the other. So it looks like this. Do you see that? So there's only actually one strap that's going through, through this and the other one is just in there. So you stick it through here like that and then this one is just between those like this. And then I clip that down, try it on, and then I always have to remove about two inches. So I'll remove whatever it is I need, pull it because it's long, try it on and then work on it and see how much I need to remove from each. And then I will um, clip off this extra because you don't want to have more than three layers here. You're just going to have a really hard time sewing through that. So you want to like, if you're removing two inches, you remove whatever that is, butt it up against that nursing clasp, put this here on top and then go over. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try mine on, see how much I need to remove. And then whenever I have that amount figured out, then I will sew this down and show you that. So this is the step that I'm at. I went ahead and I had to remove um, all of the, the length that I could um, from, this, from these. These are the two that are on the inside that cross to go to the outside. And I removed exactly enough so that it can sit underneath the slider. So, this is the, my bra right now is inside out and the straps are facing up towards me this way. The wrong side of the straps are facing me. And I have the connector on the straps like this. So it's in the end right here. So here's that little prong and it's fed through the, the wider end of it. Okay, so I'm going to take this strap and I'm just gonna put it underneath here. So I'm just gonna lay it on top like this and then I'm going to wrap this over and then I'll stitch across here. I'll probably do like two different kind of bar tacks and then I'll just trim off. So I am at the point where I have my straps attached. They hook on like this. This is, I wanna show you what this looks like. And before I do the, the bottom one, I'll shove the entire seam allowance inside so that there's no clear elastic poking out and I'm irritating my skin. Okay, so now I'm going to hook them up or if you want, you can hook them up. And then now we have the important part of attaching, anchoring our straps in. So I like to use like a lingerie, just something soft like a lingerie elastic. Um, you could make a strap from the same fabric the way you made your straps to attach here. Um, I just um, tend to prefer this. So you unattach it. You're gonna feed it through the bottom, the smaller end. And then I'll, and then I'll reattach it just so I can see how much I need. And then I'm gonna, I'll turn it this way so you can see. And then all I'm gonna do is see how much I need in order to get it down there. So I don't need as much. Give it a little tug, get a pin, put a pin there. All I'm gonna do is zigzag this onto the band right there. And then I'll cut it off. I'll grab some scissors. I'll cut it off right here. And then I'll zigzag it down here. And this keeps you from losing your strap all the way over your back. Um, it keeps your strap attached here. So this is our final step, is attaching this part. 
So I'm anchoring it, I'm just folding it over and anchoring it here. And then I'm anchoring it at the bottom um, into the seam allowance. You won't really even see it. You can just top stitch your band if you want and top stitch over you did that. That's everything. Thank you for joining me. I hope you liked this tutorial, that it was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them for me.